Sing we now of Christmas, no else sing we hear. Hear our grateful praises to the babe so dear. Sing we know well, the King is born no well. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now no well. Shepherds, leave your flocks at rest. Journey forth to Bethlehem, find the child so blessed. Sing we know well, the King is born no well. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now know well. In Bethlehem they found him, Joseph and Mary mild. Seated by the manger, watching the holy child. Sing we know well, the King is born no well. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now no well. From the eastern country came the kings of far, bearing gifts to Bethlehem, guided by a star. Sing we know well, the King is born no well. Sing we now of Christmas, sing we now no When I say Christmas Carol, what comes to mind? Songs like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Frosty the Snowman? The scary Charles Dickens story about Ebenezer Scrooge and three ghosts? Or does your heart recall the splendor of Hark the Herald Angels Sing? Or the simple joy of Go Tell It on the Mountain? Over the years, the celebration of Jesus' birth has become more and more secular, less and less sacred. But in the days before television and the internet, before telephones and newspapers, even before electricity and air conditioning, people sang Christmas carols about Christ, about a newborn babe wrapped in swaddling clothes found in a manger, about Mary and Joseph and shepherds and angels and wise men. Christmas carols are a part of the fabric of our faith. These carols carry our hopes and voice our theology. They aren't trivial little ditties. Rather, they are good tidings of great joy. So today, we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus by singing beloved carols that have been sung through the ages. We will remember that incredibly glorious night and proclaim once again with your voices and ours that Christ, our Savior, is born.
reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
Reading from the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 2 And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day, in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest! and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. While by the sheep we watch at night, glad tidings brought an angel bright. How great our joy, great our joy, 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 joy. Praise we the Lord in heaven on high, praise we the Lord. There shall be born, so he did say, in Bethlehem, a child today. How great our joy, great our joy, 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 joy. Praise we the Lord in heaven on high, praise we the Lord. Reading from the Gospel of John, Chapter 1 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Yet to all who did receive Him, to those who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Sometimes we miss the mystery in familiar things like Christmas carols. These simple melodies remind us that before God made the world, He had already planned to send His Son to redeem it, to redeem us. Lyrics like, 
He rules the world with truth and grace. God and sinners reconciled. O come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord, are either profoundly true or empty fairy tales. For thousands of years, Christians haven't just sung these songs. They've trusted their very lives to the truths they proclaim. Do you believe? Have you received Him as Savior? If not, then we invite you to join us in praying to receive Him right now. Heavenly Father, I believe that your one and only Son became a man and was born to a lowly Jewish girl in an otherwise unremarkable Jewish village. I believe that Jesus lived a sinless life and then gave that life for sinners. I believe that you raised him from the dead three days later to prove your power over sin, death, and hell. I turn from my old life and confess Christ as my Lord and Savior. I receive this gift of eternal life by grace, through faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Or perhaps you've made a commitment to Jesus somewhere on your journey, but in the hustle and bustle of life, you've lost the melody and forgotten the words to what really matters. There's no better time than Christmas to recommit your life to the one who gave his to you. If that's your desire, then we invite you to bow your head and pray this prayer with us. Heavenly Father, I confess that I've forgotten my first love, the one who loved me first. I turn away from everything I've put before my love for you and ask Christ to rule and reign supreme in my life. Let me learn to love you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to likewise love those around me. Let your Holy Spirit transform and empower me so that I might live a life pleasing to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, come, sinners and saints, let us worship Christ our Lord. See you.